looking at it and it. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Hi, Ward. High five. Yeah, high five. It heals now. <laughs> Anyways, uh, left on AFK for a few hours. I built another thing here to get the smart plating going. Yeah, I see we're uh, in stage two. Power. I'm impressed the biofuel held out that long. Uh, it didn't. I made more. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go get some hard drives so we can get some more recipes. Okay, I'm going to go and look at the tech tree and uh, oh, see before what we're I moving towards. Before I get uh, the go out to get some hard drives, do you mind if we do impre improved melee combat? Oh, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. We should have the materials for this. Oh, yeah. Can't, do, you have, do you have some more uh, wire for there? I have to go run to the wire bin. Me too, with my super leap. My Yay, melee melee combat. The good old Xeno Basher. The Xeno Basher is literally best melee in the game. Such a good weapon. And all it takes is some modular frames, which we have. Ah, uh, the joyous stockpiles. Also takes two Xeno Zappers. At least it's not a long wait, and then we can get... If you, Do you want to work on coal power? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Alright, do you know where coal power is? No, I don't. Okay, uh, come over to... The iron up above uh, by the coal. There should be a river here, right? Yes. Yeah. From this river, if you build up to, I believe it's up there. Okay. Just build a ramp going straight there. Uh, there are three coal plus a gigantic pool of water there. Oh, awesome. Oh, artifact is talking to me. All right, Xeno Basher, our high fives are going to hurt so much more now. That also gave us an extra slot. Big right. one. Let's get some research done. All right, what have we got here? No nutrients. Okay, nutrients. I picked up some of these uh, the berries. You'll see a gigantic ramp heading off into the distance. I built a ramp going up to the red forest. I was trying to figure out what that was. <laughs> I was like, well, that's there's a big ramp in the sky that wasn't there before. All right, that next one needs steel. That one needs a. Oh, we need a uh, copper sheet production. Uh, okay, yeah. We have crystal oscillators. I know I've been making a lot of fabric. One more hand slot. There. We can lay more hands on enemies. Also parachute, just in case. You can search for coal now. Oh yeah, I'll need those copper sheets for piping. So you used 3030 for cable wire. You can let the last 60 go to copper sheets. If we had gotten it earlier, we could have gotten a, a, a recipe for copper rotors, which I think are better than what we've currently got because it takes copper sheets, and I think it makes like double the amount that per minute. I didn't notice up this ramp too. There is a spot with a uh, hard drive, so I'll go and see that. I think that's the one that requires ten solid uh, biofuel. Leap over here. What kind of dangerous? Oh, it's got the bugs. You know what sucks about the Xenobasher now though? It can't slash through multiple bugs. Oh, the old one could, or...? I believe it could. It's nice and strong, though. Right, what do we got here? A bunch of wire and cable. Ooh, more circuits. And some screws. Some reinforced iron plate. Ooh, more circuits. Circuits are good. Used to make computers. Okay, this is... Yes, solid biofuel. Take that hard drive out. Slide down the ramp. Make sure I'm bringing plenty of rotors with me. I have none. <laughs> it's nice about the Xeno Basher too. Is you know the big bulls? It can actually stop them if you hit them straight on. Yeah, that little oomph is so much more not convenient. Alright, I need a whole bunch of rotors. I need a few motors, which I actually got from one of the, uh, hard, the uh, hard drive spots. So I'm good for those. I just need rotors, and I have some modular flame frames, so we'll be good. I'm gonna go get, uh, I think, five or six more hard drives, get some more recipes unlocked. And then you can repurpose your thing here to be more efficient. You're just like, pfft, efficiency. Now you just leave the old stuff to run poorly and build new stuff that's better. But I just built my first foundation, though, so... I'm gonna start improving the situation. A little bit of nice organization. All right, bull. Now we can. Now I can fight you. Yeah, get stunned, bitch. 
Oh, did you fall down? Idiot. Come over here. Come at me. Oh, stunned! Stun- Oh, get fucked. I want to get rid of that bull because he's where the uh, Katerium is, and I'll just build some quick foundations and some Katerium output here. Because now we're going to have access to uh, Mark II Miners soon here. Playing the game where I'm hunting with a four power bull that isn't rightful. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just getting the Katerium here because once I get the uh, Katerium going here, we can get the second uh, power poles. And I know how much you love oh, those. Oh, yeah, they make my day. They add joy and meaning to my life. All right, inefficient. But that's okay, we don't need a lot of quick wire yet. All right, we're going to have quick wire here. Our max consumption is appro approaching how much we can make. I just put uh, five more machines online, so... What? Which machines? I decided I wanted a dedicated copper sheet line. Oh, right, and I just made dedicated quick wire, so... Anyways, heading back north. Oh, this river, there's one high up here, I think. Oh, I should have brought more concrete. Coming back for concrete so I can build more foundations. Fuel you know, I've never really used parts. trucks. I prefer going straight to trains. Really? Guess it makes sense. Most times when you're running trucks, you could just run a long conveyor if you wanted to. Or it's arguably easier to run a long conveyor. Dash into enemies! Hello! Four hits. Alright, what have we got here? This is a good recipe. Katerium ingot for 120 per minute Kateri uh, regular wire. Oh, yeah. I like that one. Nice view from up here. Beep, beep, beep. There is a power slug. Nice forest up here. Time to take out the chainsaw. Heh. <laughs> Protecting power slug. Just need a purple power slug. Huh, this one must be underground. I'm glad we did the weapons, because there was five chargers up here. Stun the chargers, and they die in three hits. Such a nice scenic lake up here. So serene and clean and filled with radiation. Four, three. Copper veins all pure up here, eh? Let's get some power first before we worry about using more veins. If you, if you insist. Like, yes, that is the logical choice. Research another hard drive. We have some quick wire. So we can study up on some power poles next. Come here, annoying shit slinger. You'd think the enemies that shoot shit would be weaker than the bulls, but I think the bulls die in three hits and those things die in four. Build a big ramp going up there. It's like playing Fortnite. <laughs> Just don't let the bulls knock you off the ramp. I had a really scary thing happen in my single player one. I was building this gigantic ramp. It was like 400 high. Because there was a, a, uh, a hard drive way off in the middle of nowhere. And uh, after building it, like I went and got the hard drive. And then on my way down, a, uh, a bull came at me. One of the big ones. So you had to fight it on the ramp? No, fuck no. I ran away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that makes more sense. You know what I should have done before I ventured out here? Made the rebar gun. Haha, <laughs> idiot. I think there was a hatch out here that died from poison. I never knew that could happen. Uh, it used to not happen. Now it does. Oh, that's fun. You know, uh, angry plants? I never knew them as angry plants, but I do now. Aren't you the one that called them that? The angry plants? Mm, must have been another. Is that Mike? I would like to claim credit for that, but I can't, honestly. I just deconstruct my ramp and then head out again. Yeah, I get a mouthful of nuts. Wait, that came out wrong? Uh, time to run power all the way home now. So, you know, do we share maps in this game? Like, if I reveal stuff, does it reveal it for you? Check your map. Can you see this entire region up here? Just let me build this. Exit out. Oh, yes! I can see that entire region up there. I think your map revealing reveals for me. We are both uh, producing a lot of biopower and consuming a lot of power. I was so excited to run to the power pole and see the power jump as the generator came online and it just moved up a small notch. You got some coal up? Yeah, 
So that told me that I need to produce more coal generators by uh, far. The full coal thing should provide 600 megawatts. It's one coal vein to eight generators to three water. Oh yeah, and that's it, where I just need to produce um, several generators. Okay, I see the bigger cons bigger jump on capacity now. And you also have to wait for the coal to get through in the water. Yeah, the little jump was all the um, the miners and the pumps coming online. And then I saw the second bigger jump as the uh, generator itself came online. So you're going to build three of those setups over there? Oh, uh, yeah. I'll start mass producing. All right, I'm still out here looking for hard drives. I know there's one around here. I saw it. There it is. More circuits. More plasma spitters. Hmm, screws. Modular frames. Right, this one takes modular frames, of which I have plenty. Get some more nuts because I did a big jump which took off like nine blocks of life. <laughs> I think they tuned it so that a jump will never kill you if you're at full life. Yeah, it leaves you with half block. That was quite a fall that I took. I need northeast on top of here, I believe. And going up. Look up, look way up. It's okay, I'll deconstruct these later. I don't know why I'm bringing power out here. I'll just build some bio generators for this one. It's a yellow power slug. Oh, there's the wreckage. Build out over here. Destroy annoying hatcher things. Modular frames. Means you don't find remains of any other people down here considering how many crash sites there are. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what's the explanation for not finding bodies. The it's just like they've been eaten. Yeah, I was about to say the aliens around the, the every single one of these crash sites have eaten them already. Alright, get another hard drive. Let's see, what have we got here? There's the alternative rotors. So yeah, it's eleven point two five per minute. Alright, there's better power poles. Oh exciting. New building unlocked. Zip line that we don't need because Blade Runners are probably better and faster. It's a good exploration tool, right? It saves you building ramps. There's rebar gun research. Oh, yes. I'd do more research, but I need to keep some of my rotors for these uh, hard drives. Yeah. So I'm just researching another hard drive. So if you want to repurpose the... Uh, so the copper sheets can be used to make rotors now. I'll send some over. Oh crap. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I just saw your mini map icon disappear from the mini map. I was like, I'm just gonna go down this ramp. Oh. I missed the ramp and fell the rest of the way. Hazardous. Yeah, searching for hard drives is hazardous. <laughs> the height damage is the worst thing. Because all these hard drives are like 600 meters in the air. I'll just slide jump my way all the way back. It's happened. We have infinite power. Now to head back up and deconstruct this thing. <laughs> so you have how many coal setups do you have now? I have eight generators running. Sixteen more to go. Go for it. Oh, full speed ahead then, eh? Yep. There's three coal veins there, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, go the full twenty-four. There's no, there's no iron nearby there, so. That's what I was wondering about whether I was gonna haul coal down the mountain or go find a different iron coal combo. There's just I think like two more hard drives in this area, and then I'll start working on some steel. What's the milestone that's queued up? Ah, uh, steel. Whenever I went uh, hard drive hunting on my single-player game, I went and got so many hard drives. I got to the point where I was just tossing out the wires and the screw screws oh yeah because the resources were wasted full inventories i just paved over this forest and there's just this one lone bird walking my platforms looking so lost <laughs> yay more slugs oh there's a slug oh, two power slugs right beside each other third slug you guys want some of this xenobasher you want some of this too you just watched your friend die Idiot. Every single one of them. All right, I'll make it to the shoreline. There's another another hard drive there. 
annoying skittering things. I hear more of you. We slide, slide, we slide all the way down. Have a nice, good downhill to use. Yes, and slide right into a hatchery. Ooh, extra motors. This needs 30 megawatts. And burn up some flowers. Another hard drive. Finding power where you can. Ooh, heavy modular frame. Now this one required 30 megawatts, so I just built a biomass generator right beside it and then linked that to it. All right, now we head southwest. Yeah, die skittery things. Ow! Jerk. This place is a maze of hills. You know, it's satisfying when I'm able to kill a hatchery before it even opens. Or like before it uh, can't even spit out its first set. And another power slug. And a random power pole. Why is there a random power pole here? <laughs> That's out of play. There's literally no wire connecting us. No reason for it to be here. Oh, another power slug. I'm finding so many power slugs. Aha, uh -huh, here's the crash site. Any enemies wandering around? Hatcheries. Kill hatcheries, get some cable. Like the Marvel character. Ooh, circuits. Some more motors. This one takes rotors. Yep. Alright, and that's, uh, that's pretty much all of the, uh, hard drives in this area. Uh, there's a hard drive just to the north of the lake that you're at. Takes 50 megawatts. Uh, I'm just to the north where I am. Kate, I'll look for it once I'm done this second line of power. You should actually be able to see it from the coal. Oh, I see another power slug. It's not like blue power slugs are rare, though. There's like 500 of them or something like that. Like actually 500, or is that the exaggerated number? I think it's like 400 and something. Okay, I had no idea. 393. Yeah, kill a plasma dude before he can even spit. Oh, hello, Sulphur. You need to actually research you still. Volatile self-defense applications. I like how I like how she puts it. Very appropriate. Lots of stinger stuff. Charger. It's time for another good idea, bad idea. It's probably a bad idea. I eagerly await the outcome. Oh, okay, maybe not a bad idea. Get some remains. And purple power slug. Slide and dismantle. Make my way home. How come on my map it says there's a crate way over there? I thought that was one of your deaths. No, the first time dying was from that height damage. I have no idea. What the fuck is this game doing? <laughs> we should go check it out. Alright, do we have copper sheets being stored? Yeah, they're over beside the cape on the wire. I need some copper sheets for some research. Not a lot of copper sheets, though. Oh, there they are. I just, like, found a box with, like, eight copper sheets, and I'm like, that's it? <laughs> there was more than that, right? Yeah, no, there was, like, some random box with copper sheets in it with nothing going to it for some reason. Oh, weird. Oh, um, I forgot to clean up when I was done. All right, power slugs is complete. Research a bit of sulfur. Sulfur and succotash. Man, that's a lot of protein I can make. Alright, I'm gonna go look at starting up some steel production. Awesome. Yeah, I'm still tinkering with more uh, yeah, you'll be on water and coal. Yeah, you'll be working on coal for a while, right? I'm 50% done. The second line batch group. I'm make sure I bring some more rotors with me. We're running low on rotors. You want to redo the rotor line to use copper sheets? Makes, yeah, when I'm done here. Yeah, it makes uh, almost triple the amount at a time, so. Yeah, especially if we're running. Yeah, I took all the rotors to go build these power plants, so that's where they all went. And hopefully one of these hard drives will give us the uh, iron ingot into screw recipe. Because I believe it also it produces it faster and it uh, uses the same amount of materials. Did you uh, drop by and pick up some uh, quick wire? No, I need to. I've been uh, dying without it here. Yeah, because there's like a couple thousand quick wire already, so. Heh <laughs> I jumped on top of a tree. If I recall correctly, there should be some stuff for steel here. 
So we have iron, and then we should have coal down here, yes. So having those three coal setups should last us until uh, the fuel generators. And if we're Yeah, this is going to produce a lot. And if we're using, if we end up using more before we make it to fuel regenerators, we should stop being shit and inefficient. Yeah, we're doing very good or very bad if that happens. We'll go with really bad. Lost in Foundry. Go big or go home, right? That is the way. Hey, I see the wreck site. Which wreck site? Uh, the hard drive that you mentioned, unless there's more than one. Nope, that should be the one. It's in the grasslands area, right? And it should take 50 megawatts. So, with the crouch jump, you can jump higher, too. Those times when I run out of iron plates. Let's pick up this power slug while I'm here. This one's sitting in the roof. Oh, that's cheating. Eat some nuts. I like how there's no auto-reload on this weapon, so they're like, yeah, we're gonna make it intentionally awkward to use. The rebar? Yeah. Yeah, actually have to press your reload button. Or just like the... It's a good narrative and mechanics combining, where it's just like, this isn't a good weapon. Actually, the rebar gun is actually a pretty good weapon. Aha, got the screw recipe. Nice. Probably pick up some more reinforced iron plates while I'm here, too. Probably need some more rotors as well. I like the ramp going up to your coal. I uh, almost got it perfect. It's off by like four meters from being a perfect ramp. I just remember from just about the river going up there is just about making it, so... But I'm actually doing some future proofing with uh, the steel over here. Clever. What type of future proofing are you? So this one vein is doing 120, but I'm setting it up for 240. From when we get minor Mark IIs. Oh yeah. Is the wire back at base? The Caderium wire? No. I figure we don't need a ton of it, so it's just being stored away for right now. But there is a box for it to the north of base. Okay, I'm gonna go stock bomb for myself. Underclocking will make it use less power, right? Yeah. Underclocking is generally good, unless you just build like eight coal generators. Then it's not necessary. You yeah, know, steel has a weird thing where it's like 45 per. Oh yeah. So I'm underclocking it, so I have six working at 40. And those 240s will pretty much all be used here. I have no idea how you got to the Caderium. Oh, and now I found your ramp. Oh, just some random radiation crossing the wilderness. Yeah, there's a small, like, uranium thing just sitting there. Right, I need to make my rebar gun. Yay, rebar gun! Ah, jerk. Bull out of nowhere. Oh, what recipes have we got here? Steel screws are also a good one. Especially for later. Yeah, come in handy. More hard drive research. <laughs> ah, jerk. More bulls. More bulls? Like the, the Final Fantasy enemy? I don't remember that. They're the ones that use bad breath. I definitely don't remember that. 14 or a different one? Uh, all of them. I think they started on like two or three. I do not recognize them. I never ever played enough Final Fantasy. They're the weird green plant enemies with tentacles and a big oval vagina mouth. I feel like I should recall that one. You know what I wish they had for an option in this game? You know those like the vertical conveyors? Yeah. I wish once you've built it, you could like sit there, press the button, and it actually like change its length instead of having to rebuild it. Oh yeah. Unless that's like something that actually exists and I just don't know about it. No, where it's just you have to get the length right on the first try type of thing. Yeah. I used like a few tricks for um, setting stuff above and below to align it with, but even those are hit or miss. I think it's just I'm really bad at making conveyors. <laughs> it's like I want it to look like this and it's like it never looks like that. That's why I like Factorial because of how strict the grid is. Oh, yeah. Everything is all nice and blocky. So uh, this was my first game of this genre, I guess. So 
I don't think I, I tried Vectorio and I can't go back to the 2D belt management with the grabbers and the tunnels and everything. We're like, mm, do we have to? Yes, you have to. Could we instead maybe just bring this up two feet and go over top? <laughs> when you turn on a miner, it doesn't automatically start producing ore. It, you have to wait for its drill bit animation to go down and start drilling first. Yep. Which is pretty cool. Oh, we're starting to steal some steel and get production. I'm going to have to take off shortly. But all that coal production is now up and running. I see it's still starting up because it's going down and up, down and up. Yeah, it's got to level out all the coal as it filters to the back ones. So steel, steel pipes and beams are starting to be made. And uh, this whole area will produce enough steel ingots to make one producer for steel beams, one for steel pipes, one for the encased st uh, steel beams with the concrete, uh, one stator, and one motor producer. Oh, nice. All right, what recipe did we get here? Let's go with the refinery coal. I think that's the most efficient coal one for producing ingots. The one that uses water and coal ore. Yeah, I like that one a lot. Uh, do you want to put the stuff into the advanced steel production thing? Yeah, I'll grab those parts. Except for the rotors, which you probably don't have. Or did you, were you able to, are you going to start working on the rotor, better rotor production? Yeah, that's what I was working on now. Yeah, be close in the rotors, though. Now bring the steel pipes once they're done here. Not as close as I thought on the rotors. I'll also head over here and make the concrete. Oh, cast screws. <laughs> Kill one before you can charge. Kill one as it's charging. Oh yeah, doesn't the area where the coal is being produced have a ton of leaves? Yeah. I've had to dump my inventory multiple times to, uh... Because <laughs> I was trying to clear it away. I mean, that's good. More bio fuel. Do some good old underclocking. Math stuff. I heard you, bull enemy. Ooh, big bull enemy. Get stunned. Get stunned. Get stunned and get killed. How are we doing for rotors? Production is online. All right, I'm bringing back the uh, the steel pipes. Uh, next one, can we look at getting the next logistics so I can have the uh, the 270 conveyors? Oh yes. I think that also doesn't that also give us miners mark two or is that something else? It's got to be something else. Yeah, feel the power of the rebar gun. Do you have any more rotors on you? I can dump a few. I have 27 on me. That should be enough to finish. Advanced deal. Here you go. Nice. It looks like we don't get miners until the next big tier. I was going to put in one uh, rotor and one. Oh, never mind. It's done. <laughs> I, yeah, I just went and did that. <laughs> Same boat. I also have one making versatile framework. Oh, that one's making for the okay, I'll switch this one. To automated wiring. So we need 3,000 steel beams. Okay, well this is where I'm gonna call it for the day. For myself. Alright, I think we can call it here. Alright, next time we're gonna finish off this tier, right? Yeah, just fall in all the steel beams, that's all. 3,000 yep. of them. High five! That's Hur a full health bar. Hurts a little more. Thanks for watching! Next time. Uh, you still there, Ward? I'm still here. Uh, I hit you with, rebar with my rebar gun and your character fell over, so I'm not sure if you died or not. I hope not, because I was at nine bars, so... Can you, can you try I rejoining just... and see what happens? Sure. Thank you. But there's no crate, right? There's no crate, no. But I'm not sure, because when I hit you with it, your character like just literally ragdolled. I wonder if it was just like a perfect timing with the logout. Looks like you still have your Xeno Basher. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, that's that fine. Knocks yeah, it knocks you. <laughs> yeah, it knocks you over. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Wee. Ah, uh, new game. Oh, I can still eat nuts while I'm down. <laughs> okay.
Okay, that's awesome. Oh, I can still fire while I'm down, too. That's kind of funny. Oh, weird. Hey, folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, share, and comment. You can click on the left button to subscribe and the right one to watch more Satisfactory. Thanks for watching.